Alex in Israel. Ah, Alex, I feel for you, brother. That is a bad situation over there, and we're, we're, all, we're all rooting for everybody. Just stop the fighting. Gosh, I mean, God, I, I can't even imagine it. I, my heart goes out to everyone over there. Uh, Alex writes to me and he says, I have a power amp and now I need a preamp, okay? How to match a preamp to an amp? Well, if I understand correctly, it's not that simple. What parameters should I take into account to make the right choice? I'm pretty sure you have covered this topic in the past, but it would be great if you could talk about it once again. Yeah, that's, and by the way, <laughs> I couldn't resist we're out here in the warehouse and Chris is working on something and this this is an Aspen FR this is the bottom half of an Aspen FR30 and it's upside down and this is this giant base if you've never seen it before solid aluminum base it's kind of cool seeing it up like this but I, and I have no idea why it's upside down <laughs> I come out here on Saturdays and who knows what's going on here but it's always something going on okay matching preamps and amps most preamps and amps will naturally match together with impedance. And it's pretty rare today that you wouldn't have them matching. So for example, you want to have in a preamp, you want to have low enough output impedance to drive the high enough input impedance on an amplifier. Most amplifiers have a minimum of 10K, 10,000 ohms, but on average 20 to 30,000 ohms, input impedance. And most preamps have 100 ohms, 200 ohms. So what you want is low output impedance, high input impedance. That makes it easy to drive. I wouldn't get overly concerned about that because I'm going to tell you that a 99.9% .9 of anything that you're likely to connect with, those impedance differences are going to be inconsequential. What you're really looking for is sonics synergy. How do the two match up? Because a power amp is a critical component in the system. And once you have a good power amp connected to a great pair of speakers, you're going to be able to hear everything going on. A preamplifier that doesn't live up to the standards that I might like is going to be more of a detriment than a complement to the system. So there's where you're going to have to use your ears or reviews to find it. So you want to find a preamp that complements in a synergistic sense the rest of the system. And that, my friend, hate to say it, there's no spec I can give you. You're just going to have to do that by either talking around to people or stick with a manufacturer that you trust. That's, you know, okay, Here, here's our unabashed pitch buy it from us because we've already done the work for you, right? Or buy it from another company that you trust because that we've already done the work. We've already made sure that that combo is going to work out great. But if you're on your own and you're putting things together, got to use your ears. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, thanks. Bye. Good luck out there. Hang tough.